Hello and welcome everyone to day 37 in this quest for a 2000 rating on chess.com. Uh, I tried to change the board over to a different color, but it seems to be stuck on this blue color. So that's what we're going with. Let's find an opponent. And as we wait here, will we have the white or the black pieces? All right, we have the white pieces. So let's start with e4 and see what they decide to play. All right, the Philidor. Interesting. All right, well, let's see. I guess we'll play this. All right. Well, hmm. All right, so they pin our knight here. Let's see what they decide to do. Huh, interesting. Hmm. Well, Do we capture here and let him develop his other piece? That is the question. All right. Or do we attack? Hmm. Hmm. All right. So, all righty played something a little bit different. I guess we'll just go for the material, although that'll let him develop. All right, so now let's go after that piece. All right, and now we should probably develop our bishop, but what would be best? Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Well. Hmm, there is this little possible trick here of a check and then going after our queen So let's block like that and see what they decide to do next. All right, so what are their options? They're probably just going to develop this knight here, you know, which is possible. Okay, so but then you know, I was thinking there's a possible fork in the works. All right, we should probably castle. Um, we may have to watch out that they try and jump down here with that knight or here. So, um, what do we need to do? Just develop our other knight or bring this bishop in here, or just castle. So, if we go here, the queen could line up here and attack this. So, mm, do we Keep the initiative, you know, press this bishop, but I don't know, that would loosen up our king side. If we push this pawn forward, they would retreat to here and line up on this. All right. Do we go ahead, threaten to go there? 
we could attack no all right hmm hmm all right uh, do I want to I have to decide if I want to put this knight here and block my bishop in which might not be good but this knight could drop down in here and I have to watch out for that the queen could come over here and line up with the bishop on this and you know and then if he gets his knight in there All right, well, hmm, what do we want to do next? What do we want to do? Okay, I'm in a conundrum. <laughs> okay, uh, just develop, but should we develop there? Do we just bring the bishop out to here? problem is if he starts piling up on this if his knight lines up in here here or here so all right let's stop that get that bishop out of there All right, now if the bishop retreats to there, okay. Now we should probably just develop our other bishop or our knight. So I'm gonna say, bring the knight in. So let's just develop the knight first. and see what they decide to do next. Now we are ahead a pawn, so we need to work on exchanging material down. All right. We could develop this bishop up to here, pin this knight, so Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and pin that knight. All right, so we'll pin the knight to the queen. There he forces us to make a decision. Um, let's see, let's see. Now, do we just back up here and keep the pin? That seems to be pretty logical because the bishop is stopping that. So let's just back up there, keep that pin, and see what he decides to do. All right, and then maybe we drop back here and attack his bishop. Okay, so he just moves forward. Well, now we should probably just capture and break his pawns apart. So I'm going to say go with that. Then 
we'll just go ahead jump up here and then go here but I don't know that's going to take two moves to do that in the meantime could we have a problem over there all right I need to get castled so instead I should move my queen So let's go ahead, move this queen up, get ready to castle. All right. Now we need to be careful here. We should just go ahead and castle along as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, he wants to break things apart there. Um, hmm. Okay, if he captures we can recapture, but then his queen is going to pile up there. So, what can we do? What can we do? We could go up there and then jump back down to there. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Is that going to give us time to attack his queen and then pick this pawn off? Okay, so we'll attack his queen, then pick that pawn off. All right, well now, do we go this way? To pick that off no we have to capture with the knight but now we can attack the queen again with this knight we do have to watch out though if they capture this then we recapture I don't know, that's looking dangerous, but we could go after their queen. We could jump up there, go after the queen. Hmm, I don't know, this is looking uh, pretty dicey here. <laughs> okay, so that I overlooked. I definitely overlooked that. All right, well. That is not too good for us. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we could go there and see what he does. Hmm. I don't know, this is not looking too good. I think we're in trouble already. <laughs> Just because we went after that extra pawn earlier in the game and let him get uh, get his pieces developed. Uh, 
Okay. Well. Hmm. Not looking too good here. If he jumps there, we can go here, then attack him, then move our king. All right. Ah, then there's this threat over here as well. Man. Yeah, this is looking crazy. All right. Do we have any kind of counterattack here? So this is the threat, bringing that bishop or that knight in here and checking us. Okay, okay. Well, if we attack the queen, oh no, he'll jump in and he's threatening to fork our king and our queen. Not good at all. Not good at all. Okay. Well. Hmm. All right. Well, I have to move my king or I have to cover this square. I could jump forward with this knight up to here and cover that, but he could just attack with a pawn. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Well, how do we cover that? Move our queen over? Then our king is going to be in trouble. So we have to go here, then move up here. So king up, then we might have a check here. The king goes back down and can cover there. All right, guess we're going that way. And let's see what he decides to do. Mm. Yeah, this is rough. Got ourselves in a, a problem right out of the opening. All right, so I could just check with the queen. Then we have to run down where to here. Okay, well that is not good. So now we have to protect. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a disaster. Okay, where was that there? Oh man, do we go there? No, we have to, we pretty much have to protect there. I think this game is lost already. <sighs> You know, and now they're just going to pile up here. If they drop the knight in, well then what? If we capture, well then at least we're attacking their queen as well. If we go there, but then they'll check us and then the queen will escape. Oh man. All right. Not good, not good. This is turning into a disaster. All right, wait a minute. If they go there, I guess we could drop our queen back as well and help protect. Drop the queen back. Man, but, okay, yep, then I guess I gotta do that. I have to drop the queen back to there. Hmm. I'm going to end up losing this bishop, though, possibly. Well, they could go there and pull me away. Oh, man. 
Yeah, this is another game where I'm hanging on for my life. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. They just got a crazy attack going here. So, if they capture, you know, probably with the knight, then I go here, then that's pinned to my queen. Um, if they capture, so, all right, knight captures. We go here. They're going to pull me away from my bishop over here. I think he's just going to come out of peace there. So, capture, recapture. Unless, do I have something better? If they capture there, no, I'm pretty much forced. Hmm. Man. Okay, so they're just going to capture the pawn with the bishop or the knight. You know, probably. Well, the bishop attacks my queen immediately. So, do I have any kind, any kind of counter? No. So, capture, capture, knight captures, queen captures, queen captures my queen. And then, my king captures and it pulls me away from the defense of this bishop and then he'll just pick my bishop off all right is there anything i could do here anything i have to go there pretty much So, all right, my queen is under attack. There's no checks against him. Well, I guess we're just playing into an endgame. We're going to be down this bishop. All right, well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, if we go there. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Do we go here and fork? So let's look at the material. What do we got? He's ahead by plus two. Ah, uh, man. Okay. Well, if we go up here and fork his... Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, it's not looking good. We could at least capture this pawn over here. Try that. Get a pawn out of it. Then he'll capture a pawn with check, then we go there, then he's pinning here. So... So what can I do? Well, I could move up here and attack. Or do I go here and attack? But 
then he captures, I capture, hmm, or do I go that way? Uh, yeah, this is just looking terrible, terrible. Would it do me any good to go there? No, because he can just attack there. All right. Well, if I go there, if I just capture, his rook's going to come over. All right, I guess we're going for that, which is not good. All right, now do we go there? Hmm. I don't know. Now we're just trading down material. Okay. Well, if we get rid of that, and get rid of his bishop, and he has an isolated pawn over there. Now what? I don't know. Now it just doesn't look good. Okay. Well, do we go after that? Go after that pawn. But then he'll go after this pawn. And just start picking everything off. So we're pretty much lost here. Now we're down plus three. <sighs> All right. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Do we go after that again? Just keep going after that pawn. I guess so. All right, guess we're going after it. And we go up here. That. Okay. All right, now do we go forward or do we go the other way? Um, let's see. We go that way. But I don't know, he's drawing us away from this side and we're going to be in trouble. Okay. Well, We'll go there. All right, what now? Go forward to try and get into that position. All 
All right, guess we got to go there. At least that keeps the king out a little bit. But, you know, he's just going to push forward here and end up checking us. Ah, uh, where can I go here? It's just not looking good. Ah, uh, all right, I got to move this knight somewhere. Um, stuff is in the way here. All right, what to do, what to do? If I jump forward, then I'm going to come back down here. Now we're going to be in trouble. <sighs> All right. And now that problem. Uh, what a disaster. What a disaster. What a total disaster this game turned into. All right, well, I guess that happens sometimes. Sometimes you just have a disastrous game. A disastrous game. And he'll just start, you know, pushing forward here. Okay, what now? What now? He just pushes forward there. Um, guess we're going there. Then I'm just hanging on here before the inevitable end. Probably should have resigned already. All right, well, I guess I should get rid of as many pawns as I can. And now what? Now what? Move up. See what they do. Should probably stay in front of these pawns, though. Mm. 
right. Let's see what he does. And that is terrible. All right, I'm resigning. What a horrible game. Horrible, horrible game. All right, well, those bad games happen, I guess. So let's do a quick game review. I imagine I messed up at the very beginning. Oh, now the screen is tan. So interesting. All right, I played at 79.3. They played at 87.1. So they had no blunders, no misses, no mistakes, four inaccuracies, and we had three mistakes and seven inaccuracies. All right, so it says some good positional play let you seize the advantage in the middle game. Yeah, it looks like I was ahead for a while, so let's see where I messed up. Okay, so I think this was you know, one of the best moves to play is D4 here. And then if they go here, you want to capture the pawn. But then, let's see. I don't know, I guess I misplayed after that. Okay, they did not like this move. So, the, yeah, this is the beginning of the problems. So should I have just captured this pawn? Hmm. All right, it did not like that. The best move would have been to just move over. If they capture, to just recapture. All right. Well... So that knight to d5 is where the mistakes started to happen. And then another mistake here. So two mistakes in a row with that knight. Best would have been to just capture now. So give up this pawn, but we're trading off rooks possibly. Mm, and at that point, black would have gone ahead. He would have regained his pawn. All right, so then he got this crazy attack build up here, and that was the end of the game. Yeah, after that, it was just a disaster. I should have resigned once this attack was all building up here. Ah, frustrating game, guys <laughs> and girls. All right, queen to c1 is a mistake. Queen to c1. Wait a minute, what are they talking about? Queen to c1. So go back. Knight to c4 is an inaccuracy. So This permits the opponent to eventually win material. Okay. And how do they do that? Um, the best move for them would have been to just capture here, attacking my knight, which is pinned. Oh yeah, that would have been a disaster because the knight's pinned to the rook. The bishop's pinned to the queen. Yeah, I just let them get a crazy attack on me and just fell apart in that game. All right, so queen to c1 is a mistake. Best would have been queen to e2, but even then I'm just losing already. So I guess it didn't make a difference. And then, I don't know, trading down material didn't really help either. 
and then they just slowly squeezed me down here. All right, so I only played, a, I played at a 1600 level when they played at 1950. So I definitely have to play better than that. Your opponent got the better of you in that game. The opening was balanced. Your opponent found some nice moves in the middle game. So I played 90.8 in the opening and they played 84.1. But then I only played 67.3 versus their 80.3 in the middle game. So we just fell apart in that one. All right. Uh, let's do a quick analysis and find out you know, how we should have played this in more detail here. All right. So E4, E5, Knight F3, D6, the Philidor defense. So... Here, interestingly enough, it recommends h3 in this position. Um, then the next best moves are d4 or knight to c3. So we play d4, and capturing here is best, but they pin, and that's an inaccuracy, which... Uh, they don't like, and so the best move here is to capture this pawn now. And this is kind of like the Paul Morphy Opera House game, the beginning of it anyway. It starts out like this, and now they capture, bringing the queen up, and then they're able to recapture uh, with the pawn here. So in that game, they capture the knight, we capture, they get their pawn back, but then Morphy was able to bring his bishop to c4 with his queen on f3 and threaten a mate here. Uh, so now, knight to d7 is best, but a6 is second best. So they play that, and now, let's see, h3, looks like that is best to not go after this pawn and just play h3 so we go after the pawn but white is still ahead here it says that's still an excellent move and white's ahead knight to c3 it likes that better all right so now they capture which is good, but it liked a knight developing move better. So now we play h3, and that's the best move in the position. They retreat, which it says is excellent, although it likes capturing better, which, I don't know, if they captured, then we'd capture with, with our queen, and that would just help us develop our queen. So... It does not like that move. E5 would have been better. Huh. E5. They could just capture. All right, let's take a look at this E5 move. Well, now it's saying that's third best, that G4 would have been better here. Because if we just play E5, they could capture... Well, no, they can't capture because then we capture their queen and then the knight wouldn't be pinned anymore and then we could capture them back. So, um, you know, it's showing e5 as third best, but g4, it likes that better. All right, so we play this move, an inaccuracy, but white is still ahead here. So they bring their knight into the game and now g4 and that is an inaccuracy now it would have been better just to develop the knight up here to c3 okay but i don't know i was worried about you know if i just j develop the knight up here and they jump their knight here they're going to pile up. All right, well, I guess if they did that, then I could still push to g4 and chase them away. Okay. 
So they retreat, of course. Then knight to c3 is best here, which is what we played. Uh, then they develop their knight. Now it looks like queen to e2 is best. Um, but instead, I pin their knight, and it does not like that. Uh, probably because now they can play h6, and it actually liked this h5 move better. So we retreat, and that is best. Uh, the queen moves up. That's an inaccuracy. It would have been better, once again, to push with h5 here. Uh, so we capture, and it does not like that, because we gave up the bishop pair. But I thought, well, I'm breaking his pawns apart over here. And it liked queen to e2, just lining up on the king better. All right, so capture. White is still ahead at this point, And now we play d2. And you know, it's still like that, the computer, but e2 would have been better to protect this pawn line up here because now he's just going to castle long and be lined up on our queen, which is what he does here. So we do the same, and that's best. Uh, and now finally he plays h5, the best move. And our mistakes begin here with knight to d5. And better would have been g5. Hmm, interesting. Just playing g5 or rook at h to g1. So, I think I like, I'm trying to see if I like this g5 move better. says that's excellent, but it likes the rook move better. All right. So g5. Their best move is queen to e6. Then we go queen to e3. And rook at h to e8, just lining up here. So let's take a look at that other move. So instead of that move, we'll play the one that it says is best. Uh, that move. Rook at h to g1. Well, now it's saying, mm, excuse me, that would be best to line up here on the rook. Then queen to e2, getting off of this line, uh, because there's a threat of capturing here possibly at some point, you know, and being lined up on the queen. All right, so, well now it's saying king to b1 would have been better. But anyway, then you have capture, uh, capture, queen to e6, just putting pressure on this pawn king to b1 and anyway the game could have gone on like this and white would have held an edge um, it's also saying a3 would be good uh, let's see now we have knight to d4 here and then instead of capturing that knight queen to e3 whoa well okay i guess now, this looks dangerous. Queen to e3. And now there's a bunch of different moves. But, you know, if they capture here with an attack on your queen, well, then the queen could either capture that bishop or go after the knight. And it looks like the best move is to go after the knight here to knock that out of your half of the board. And then... Just piling up on this pawn and queen to f4. And what now? Bishop to d4. Just threatening to knock out this knight, which is helping to guard this pawn. So here it looks like knight to d5. 
Uh, or actually it's saying best would have been to retreat. So let's go back. Best would have been to retreat and attack that bishop. But then the bishop could move up here possibly and attack our queen. Um, but it recommends staying on this diagonal with bishop to c. Anyway, the game would have been more even if it went in this direction. And you know, even though it's showing the game is even, white is ahead a pawn, but it looks like that pawn will probably fall here shortly. So, I don't know, that would have been a lot better than what happened in the game. So in the game, uh, we had this capture, uh, and then we jumped up here making another mistake, which was awful. It says better would have been just to capture. So then if we captured, the game would be slightly in black's favor, but you know probably still manageable. So capture, capture, then, you know, queen could capture here. Although, if that happened, the knight could capture. So, let's see, knight to b4, it also recommends. But anyway, if we did something like this, the knight, I guess, could capture up here. But it looks like queen to e3 would be better getting off of this line. So queen to e3 oh, and protecting the knight because the queen could try and fork these two pieces, I guess. And knight to b4 attacking our bishop. Uh, rook to h4 attacking the queen. Knight takes d5, attacking our queen, we capture, and now queen to g2. Uh, but anyway, you get the picture. This would have been, well now the pawns are even. Um, oh, our king could come under attack down here possibly. So, what is it recommending? Bishop to e2 right now. Hmm. Bishop to e2, maybe to... Well, let's take a look at it. Bishop to e2. Bishop to f5. F5. A3 to limit the scope of the bishop over here. And then king to b8. And now c4. c4. Just moving our pawns forward. We have a pawn majority over here. Uh, and then queen backing out to g8. And, or even bishop to d7. It likes that as well. So now... Bishop to d1, I guess, maybe to move over here and fight this bishop, try and knock off one of the bishops so black doesn't have the bishop pair. All right, anyway, um, let's get back to the game and look at this disastering, or disastering, <laughs> disastrous ending. So, queen attacks. Um, where did we go? We go after the pawn. Now we left that open. So let's go back and look and see. Well, it says that was best to go after that and let them take that. And then what is our best move here? C3. So that's what we played. And knight to A5 is best, although now it's saying the rook to E8 is better. Uh, but at this point, we're just losing. So king to c2 does not like that. Best would have been knight to d4. Getting this knight uh, over here to help with some defense. 
Oh, and stopping. But okay, I, I saw that move, but then I saw that they could play the best move here is c5, attacking. So now what do you do? Well, do we go down here and attack the queen? Um, it doesn't even mention that move. B3, go here and attack their queen. B4, it likes B4 the best. Uh, but then we have queen check, king to C2, queen to A2, and we're just in trouble here. King to C1, and then it looks like what, bishop to f4? Oh, they're yeah, pulling the queen away from the defense. Man. Or queen to a1 again. Um, they could even just capture our queen, but that, that's not the best move. Like, if they do that, that would be a brilliant move. Then what do we have? Knight to e3 to block that. If the queen moves away, well, then the knight just jumps in here and mates. Oh, no, the knight can't because this knight is covering that. So, all right. If the queen takes, oh, then they just capture our knight here, opening the position. Yeah, it's looking bad. If, okay, so knight to e3, we would block. Um, then they could play queen to a1, or they could capture our queen. But queen to a1, king back up to c2, queen to a4 check, saying that is best, a4 check, and then king to b1, oh my gosh. And then finally they would just pick off a piece here. Yeah, and uh, So... All right, I'm just going to finish the rest of the game out and end this analysis. So in the game, they just start piling all these pieces up, and we're defending. And well, actually, let's go back to that. The best move here uh, would be, well, are they showing queen to c1? So knight to c4 is an inaccuracy. It would have been better just to capture here, which we looked at. They would be attacking this, attacking the knight, which is pinned to the rook. So here it's saying queen to c1. Now it's saying that's a mistake, that e2 would have been better. Um, we could look at this e2 move. That, then rook to d3, or rook takes on d3. Queen takes, bishop takes b2, uh, and now, I don't even this is a disaster. The best move is queen to d4, it looks like. But, you know, if we capture here, oh, the queen would just capture us, so we don't want to do that. Delete. All right. So queen to d4. And now what? Rook to d8. Just attacking our queen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's just a disaster no matter what. So we just start trading off. Then they pick this off. And now we're just behind by two pawns worth of material. And this pawn's ready to fall. Um, what could we even do here? The best move is knight to g5, it looks like. Oh, that covers everything, kind of. Knight to g5, that covers this pawn. Covers this. Then we have rook to d6. 
knight to e5. This would have been better than what we did play, just exchange everything down. So now we go after this guy. Um, rook to d2 check. Now this pawn can be picked off. The king moves. They pick this off. Um, now rook to g1, giving up this other pawn. I mean, I guess we could go after that. Then they capture. And now rook to g1 to protect that knight. Anyway, uh, the final part of the game, you know, we just traded off material, which we shouldn't have been doing. You know, you want to, when you're behind in material, you want to avoid trades, not help them out by trading more material. But I thought I could knock out some of his pawns and, you know, try and get those pawns off the board. So then we don't have to worry about that. But my knight wasn't really able to do much here. So we did try and activate our king. Um... You know, what would have been better here? To move up here and block his king off, maybe? <clears throat> yep, that would have been better. We should have gone forward with our king like this. You know, he'd probably push his pawn, uh, or this pawn. It looks like b6. Or he could just push his outside pawn and start running with it. You know, and then we would be in trouble. Uh, anyway... Yeah, the game was lost at that point, or before then, you know, after we're just behind in material here. All right, so the game just continued on with this horrible ending here. Yeah, at this point, we're really losing. And there's a mate in eight here. Yep, and then that's a disaster. Hmm. And the game may have continued like this, and we run, and then they just checkmate us. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, disastrous game. Uh, I'll just have to try and play better next time. Uh, I guess I got carried away trying to grab that pawn in the beginning, which, I don't know, that was still okay, but afterwards I had two mistakes in a row and that really got me in trouble. All right, well, thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to leave comments, suggestions, or requests for uh, any videos you would like to see in the future. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a super chess day.